Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Laurel Martin, head coach of the field hockey team. And Coach, round out the season, a 3-0 victory at home first on against Wilson on Tuesday, and then rounding out conference play with a 2-1 loss against Lebanon Valley. Over the course of the season, we've seen some ebbs and flows, but in reality, uh, we're still optimistic throughout the season. Um, some players really were able to develop over the course of this season. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that this season, uh, the ebbs and flows goes into the youth of this team. Mm -hmm. uh, the majority of the starters were either sophomores or freshmen. And um, with that comes ebbs and flows. Mm -hmm. So um, you're going to run into that. And, I mean, that um, – that is the good news is that hopefully those will work through and those will be eliminated so we can be more consistent across the board to um, secure a couple more um, W's when it's when it's those close matches that we weren't able to do this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of close matches this year. Some of those, you know, go the other way, like you said, and we're in postseason contention. Right, right. Um, <laughs> it, it's the way sports goes, Yeah. you know. And at a sport like field hockey, it could be a 0-0 draw all the way up to the – you know, yeah. or 90th minute, so to speak. Absolutely. Um, now, concentrating a little bit on, we want to thank, you know, all the seniors Absolutely. that we had this yeah. year. One that stood out to me having a career year this year was Blair Bittner. She has her career year yeah, on defensive saves, mm -hmm. was a presence for you back there. And in that Wilson game gets her first career assist. Yeah, yeah. it was cute because her mom came up to me at the tailgate and was like, Blair got an assist because she's a, a, as a right back. That's very, that's, um, I wouldn't say highly unusual, but it is unusual. Right. So um, that was neat for her, a first for her um, in her career. Um, and certainly, I think Blair is the most educated defender back there. She's been with me for four years. She understands the uh, chess match, if you will, and, um, and she's very good at communicating that. So she will be deeply missed and, um, and had a great senior year. And I had an opportunity for that game to be on the sideline, shooting some sideline footage, uh -huh. um, which I don't get to do that often, but when I do, I love it. And it seemed like the whole defensive unit back there mm -hmm. in that game – didn't give Wilson much of an opportunity to be on our defensive side of the, the field at all. They were playing as a unit, keeping yeah. the, the pressure on, and it paid off with the amount of shots that you guys put on the board and the goals. Too. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a neat thing for us. We wanted to um, be really attacking, and we wanted to give everyone an opportunity to touch the ball, um, and, and we were able to do that, so mm -hmm. that was a neat game. Yeah, and so – Having that opportunity, and in the last couple of games, you also got an opportunity for the youth to get on the field. You have so much on the roster as yeah, it is. Yeah, we have a, a large roster. <laughs> yeah. Um, moving into the off season mm -hmm. and then into the spring season, some a little bit of optimism, you know, and it's going to be tough to – keep the nose to the grindstone and keep working hard but you know opportunity was there throughout the season yeah absolutely I, I want to touch base about that and then I also want to rewind a little bit and talk about um Holly and Rosie the right. other two seniors mm -hmm. as well so yeah I, um I I'm really super excited yeah. for the future I mean this team is is already we're planning a Thanksgiving get together and we just um although our season had come to an abrupt end mm -hmm. and 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 one that we wouldn't have liked we had a Halloween practice and we're um we're planning uh bull roast and we're we're heading to Barbados this spring so um not this spring I'm sorry in, yeah. in August of right. 2017 so there's a lot of excitement and a lot of opportunities for this team in the future and um and I, I'm, I'm very hopeful and, and thankful for this young group, and I think we're going to do some great things in the future. A lot of team-building opportunities there for you guys. Right. Uh, and in a team that is already really close, and they all get along really well. Yeah, we bond, we bond great. It's a great group um, and, and some dynamic personalities um, and, and a lot of different um, good things coming from them. So. And you touched on it a little bit with the other two seniors that we haven't talked about yes, yet. Yes, yes. And that mm -hmm. camaraderie comes from the leadership on the field in, in those seniors. Right. Yeah, so we have three different seniors with um, that bring so many different things. So Blair, obviously, she's the she's the leader in the backfield with the knowledge and the communication, and we've talked about that. And then we have Holly, and she comes into the midfield, and she can switch to the forward line. She's very versatile. Um, and and Holly is just one of those 
those co- those positive kids that's the one that's always saying come on guys you can do it and she's just she's sort of I, I don't she's sort of the cheerleader of the mm-hmm. group you know she's the positive one that's trying to to get everybody going and then Rosie is just the the she's this sweet outer demeanor with this inner com- competitive drive um, that uh, that that really makes her excel and, and she's she's really worked through some ups and downs throughout a, a lot of seasons and um, never quits just keeps fighting to get those goals in the net and another leader on the sideline for you too of course she hasn't played too much as Gabby yes Gabby uh, she's been a leader in morale and everything and I get to see her almost yeah. every day and She's a, she's a fun one to talk to as well. Uh, absolutely. Um, Gabby is um, one of the truest competitors that I've ever met. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, can, I can understand Gabby's mindset because it's not too dissimilar from mine. So um, I, I, I respect her, um, her work ethic, and she's had some unfortunate injuries that have really set her back because um, she would be a major impact player mm-hmm. for us. But we look forward to um, hopefully working with her in the future mm-hmm. and um, just continue to build this program. And we wish the best of luck to those seniors in their graduation. And yeah, I don't know if any of them are coming back for the master's programs. And I know a lot of our athletes do do that. And yes, that's, yes. that's one credit to our athletes is they, you know, continue their educational career. Yeah, that's actually Gabby's planning on doing oh, that. Oh, great. Yeah. Wonderful. And we wish her the best of luck. And best of the luck moving into the off season and uh, spring ball next year. Thank you. And, and uh, we thank you for all your time these, thank you. these weeks. We had a pleasure talking to you. Good talking. She's Laura Martin. I'm Joe Wamman. This has been the Coach's Corner.